everyone and welcome to this week's mem blog. I am trying a new format with this so bear with me and if you don't like it let me know and I'll go back to my regular vlogs. I just didn't record anything this weekend because one, I, my friend was in town and didn't really feel like recording much and two, I really didn't know where my camera was for most of the weekend so that's my excuse. Anyway, this is like the probably the tenth time I'm trying to record this because I was taking it way too seriously and I'm coming off my bad Friday with Popper 10 Media where I kind of failed at getting a video out that I intended to. But anyway, we must press on. Uh, yeah, awkward. Anyway, um, yeah, my friend Kyle was in town and we had a really great time. We ran around and did a lot of stuff around the Twin Cities, you know, nothing super exciting, but really, he was needing a relaxing weekend. While Kyle was in town, we went around and we had a lot of fun, uh, we, and we ate at several uh, really good places around the Twin Cities, too. If you're ever in the Twin Cities and you want to have brunch someplace, go to Pizza Luce. I am not entirely sure how to spell that, but I will include it in the captions on the video because, um, yeah, I, I think it's like L-U-C-E with a over, over the E, something like that. Anyway, yeah, the brunch there is amazing. You will not be sorry unless, uh, unless you want your breakfast to, and your brunch to like, you know, be really greasy and disgusting and filled with starch. You probably won't like it that much, but if you enjoy good food, you will love Pizza Luce, uh, not only for brunch, but you know that's that's all we had while he was in town. Uh, and yesterday for dinner, yeah, it was dinner basically. We went to the All You Can Eat Sushi Buffet. Yes, I went again, very close, like two weeks apart. And I didn't almost kill myself this time, but I think Kyle almost did because he loved it, and in his words, totally worth it. Or maybe he was agreeing with me, saying it was totally worth it. Anyway. Yeah, he he was in pain afterward, but it's totally worth it, especially if you love sushi. Uh, I think it's I think it's Kyoto in Egan, Minnesota. Well, I know the location, but I'm not sure of the name. Kyoto, yeah, don't quote me on that. Uh, okay, and why did I say uh, okay? Uh, awkward. <laughs> Let's see. Um, other than that, you know, we just ran around and had a good time. We relaxed. Just ha just just enjoyed you know each other's company, and ooh, went to the Minneapolis Institute of the Arts, which was uh, it's always great to go there because you know they'll have new stuff in every now and then, and it's just if you appreciate the arts and you're in the Twin Cities area, go to the Institute of Arts because there I mean there's multiple floors of stuff, pictures, modern art, which. I don't entirely get, but I'm learning uh, classic art. It is just it's absolutely amazing. If you love the arts, you will not be disappointed. Uh, other than that, you know, I won't go into too much more detail, but great weekend. Today, or well, this evening, Jill and I watched the Vikings lose again. But on the plus side, uh, oh God, what's it? Oh, Ponder. Yes, Ponder. I almost forgot his name. Ponder, a.k.a. my wife's other boyfriend, Apparently, because she thinks he's hot. I'm indifferent. Um, yeah. uh, he finally got to start and did a really good job. Like I said, we lost, but for it being his first game in the middle of the season, I uh, first of all, I'm so glad McNabb is not quarterback. Is not a quarterback anymore. Although I guess they'll keep him around as backup if we need to throw the ball at people's feet. <laughs> Which, you know, would be a plus, you know, if uh, if they need him to hike the ball, like, straight to the punter. Like, you know, if Cluey needs to kick while it's in the air instead of doing it himself, you know, McNabb might do a pretty good job of that. Of course, then he would probably throw it to his head instead of his feet, but, you know, it's, uh, if you don't know much about football or, you know, Vikings football, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. And I would apologize, but, you know, I don't really care. Oh, what else going on this weekend? Um... Yeah, not much else going on. I did have a little topic of discussion that I wanted to bring up. And, you know, you can comment on this below if you want to. I'd like to see what everyone else thinks. But I, I was just kind of thinking about it while I was doing laundry. Yeah, I don't know why I thought about this when I was doing laundry. But um, the, uh, I was thinking about, you know, exes, basically. You know, ex-girlfriends, you know, for the ladies, you know, ex-boyfriends, wives, husbands, whatever. Um, and how there's basically three categories, at least in my opinion. 
there, there's the two extremes and then there's the neutral. The neutral category is basically when you, your ex become your acquaintance. Or, you know, you can tolerate them being around, you don't really mind, it's no big deal, you know. You're, you're not really buddy-buddy, but, you know, it's, it's no big deal if you see each other. Then on one far end of the spectrum, you have people who just hate each other's guts. It was a horrible breakup, or maybe it wasn't even a horrible breakup. Just for whatever reason, you cannot stand that person. They can't stand you. You don't want to be around each other. And if you have kids together, it's even worse because then you have to see each other and you probably have to get all legal on it. It sucks. And then there's the other end of the spectrum where you have exes that you're good friends with. And I would say this is probably the most rare kind. I'm lucky enough that I, would, I have... Uh, a, a couple of my exes I would consider to be good friends. I talk with them fairly frequently online, and, you know, I don't really see them much because none of my exes live here. But, yeah, I mean, well, I'd like to know what everyone else thinks. Like, do you, I, I, I would say that, like I said, that is the most, that is the rarest kind of ex. Some people would probably say that doesn't even exist for whatever reason. I think it does, obviously, because I do have good friends that I used to date. Um, and then probably the, uh, you know, the neutral ground would be the most common, and then the ones where you just hate each other would be the second, a very close second, or maybe it's the other way around, I don't know. Uh, but, like I said a moment ago, well, I'd like to know what everyone else thinks, or what you all think. What is your opinion of the whole exes subject? Just like, you know, do you... Do you ever associate with any of your exes? Um, even if you didn't have a horrible breakup, do you just push them out of your life? Which, I, I think I know someone that did that before, but, you know, I mean, we, everyone has bad breakups unless you've never really dated anyone or you've only dated one person in your life and that's the one you got married to. But, really, I, I think it, it's the most common and probably the healthiest because I, I, I was thinking about it a little bit further and if you are with someone, or if you say this, uh, basically, oh no, I don't, I don't have uh, you know any problems with any of my exes. I don't have any exes that I have bad feelings toward. Bad feelings toward, which you know, if you're dating that person, stay away. And this is why. They, it's true. You know, they're being honest with you. They don't have any exes that you know they have bad feelings toward. They don't have any exes that you know they have problems with or have problems with them. And the reason is because they killed them. They're dead. That's the only explanation. If you dated more than one person in your life and you had a breakup and you don't have any ill feelings towards those people or you never did, the ex is probably dead. Run. Trust me. It's in your best interest. Or maybe not if you're the person that did the killing, at which point I'm warning people for you. So, you know, if you're going to kill anyone, you, this is getting really morbid. I'm going to stop now. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the not new format, but different format of this vlog. The next one should probably be somewhat of a return to normalcy. I might do some more of these every now and then. Let me know what you think of let me know what you think of this format in the comments. Let me know if you if you liked it, if you didn't like it, or even if you think there might be something that, you know, if I were to keep with this style, maybe something I could change up a bit. Should I use theme music? Should I play guitar in the beginning? Should I, you know, try and do somersaults in an extremely small room? Which, if, no matter where I do somersaults, I'm probably going to break something, which would be hilarious and, you know, might get me more views online. You know, more on those somersaults in a small room and kill themselves. Of course, if I did that, I don't know that this video will get posted online. Hmm, I might want to rethink that. <laughs> anyway, I hope everyone has a great week, and I'll see you next Monday. Bye!